Good morning, everyone. My watch says it's a little after 8 o'clock, so I'd like to go ahead and get started so we can keep on time. So my name is Sharon Donovan, and I'm the co-chair of the Yogurt and Nutrition Initiative with Renan Shamir, and I'd like to well, warmly welcome you to the second Global Summit on the Health Effects of Yogurt. And um, I'm very glad to see you all here on the last day of the meeting, and I hope that you're going to really enjoy the program that we've put together for you this morning. So just briefly, my disclosures. And then I thought for just about five minutes, I would give you an introduction to Yini if you're not familiar with it, and then to also update you on some of our um, accomplishments in the last year since we had our first global summit in Boston um, last April. So Yini stands for Yogurt in Nutrition Initiative for a Balanced Diet. And this is an initiative that was um, begun with the American Society of Nutrition and the Danone Institute. And we're very happy to announce a new partner in um, Yini, the International Osteoporosis Foundation. And so we, we all know that bone health is important across the lifespan, so we're very excited about having this, this new partner. So the Yini board, which you will see in your handouts, has um, developed a strategic map. So I'll just show you our mission is to advance scientific knowledge on the health benefits of yogurt and to disseminate broadly this information. And we have three major goals to identify and review existing science on the health benefits of yogurt through, interna and through international scientific conferences, such as the one today. And we're also in the process of um, producing a systematic review, which should really help us to identify the, um, the strength of the evidence, but also the gaps. We want to promote scientific research on the health benefits of yogurt, and that through not only raising awareness, but as we'll show you, um, Yini is beginning um, to fund research, and we're just issuing a call for proposals this, um, that will be due in July. We also um, have posters and scientific sessions, so this is the first year we've included posters, and we were able to get a new um, abstract category on the EB program. So if work in your lab is in the area of yogurt, then please consider submitting an abstract to that category next year. And lastly, to disseminate the knowledge to, on the health benefits, and this is to healthcare professionals, policymakers, and, and ultimately the general public. So what have we done? So um, as you know, last year we had our first global summit. The proceedings are being published this month in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. And if you're not aware, the, um, the full PDFs are available on your memory stick. So the, um, the white pen that you have in front of you, if you pull off the cap, this is actually a memory stick. And PDFs of the full um, supplement are available for you. We also have developed a website, yogurtandnutrition.com, which is, has selected scientific reviews. We have expert reviews. Some were captured last year. Some are being captured this morning. There's also, I'll show you health um, fact sheets for healthcare professionals and, and patients. So the information that we was presented last year in Boston that's now been published in AJCN has been translated into information sheets that we hope that healthcare practitioners will be able to use for their benefit and the benefit of their patients. So these are um, some of the infographics. So if you go to the Yogurt and Nutrition website, you can download these as PDFs. And um, so on weight management, lactose intolerance, healthcare economics, these we were all um, but presentations from the Boston meeting. There's also fact sheets on lactose intolerance, both for healthcare professionals and patients and also nutrient density and snacking. So if you are a dietitian or a physician and you think these would be helpful in your um, practice, please go to the website and, and download them. And we're very excited about a new research RFA. And this, um, again, you can get information on yogurt and nutrition. We're looking for proposals that um, focus on health benefits of yogurt consumption very broadly. These are just some topics, but we'll really consider a breadth of topics, um, any approach you would like to take. The deadline is the end of July. This is beginning as a $30,000 grant. So again, it's a small grant, but we're hoping that this will 
um, serve as a seed grant to generate new research in um, yogurt that's going to help us fill some of the gaps. And again, we're very excited about the summit today. The um, programs are in front of you. I wanted to remind you that at the end, we're, we've added a new um, wrinkle this year. Last year, everybody kind of stood up and said, well, where's the yogurt? So this year, we have yogurt, and we're very happy to have Ellie Krieger, who's a very well-known dietitian in the United States, will be speaking at the end of the session on um, strategies for the public to include yogurt in their diet, and we'll be tasting some of the recipes from her cookbook and her cookbook is available, and she will be signing those. We say that's a great Mother's Day gift, and so if you're um, thinking of something, please consider um, meeting Ellie. She's really a delightful person and um, very well known in the US. She's on the Food TV Network and has a number of cookbooks, so we're very happy to have her with us. So just briefly, again, the, the, the um, itinerary for is in front of you. We will be having scientific sessions through about 12.30 and then the, the yogurt tasting session afterwards. So without any further um, delay, we would like to um, initiate the first session. So I'd like to have Andrew Prentice come up as the moderator to introduce um, Dr. Fisberg.